Previously on Welcome to the Family. So today I flew into Dallas. One of the reasons that Stephanie got all the bridesmaids together so that we could go up to Lake Murray in Oklahoma. Why is this such a big deal? Yeah, that's a really good question. Stop, right? You gotta see this. <laughs> Are y'all scared? This particular dress was... <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. You guys gotta see what I just found in Dallas. This is hilarious. <laughs> We're at Town East Mall in Mesquite, Texas. What's it called? Town East. Oh, Town East. I heard Town East Mall. <laughs> we we're looking for a very special store. When you walk into Charming Charlie's, you're gonna flip crap. And it's how Texas women do it. It's all color coded. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's all color coded by color -coded whatever you're looking for. You pick your color and everything you could possibly yeah, need nice. with that color is by that section. So this is how Texas women keep it all matchy matchy and make us all look so blinged up awesome. We have stores that help. Off we go to Nacogdoches, Texas. Yeehaw! Well, Nacogdoches happens to be the oldest town in Texas, where Sam Houston lived. The nine flags that have flown over Nacogdoches. But right now, the only flag flying is Texas. And then it was time for the family to see the dress. I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't know whether it's an insult or a compliment, but you look like you belong under a Christmas tree. I like it. You do? Yes. It's a little red. Are you going with an Alice in Wonderland theme? <laughs> it's not near as bad as what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you look like an upbeat pinata. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking a big ass pan of cornbread. <laughs> that right there, baby. Look it, look it. Yeah, that's hot. Ouch. <laughs> I am making chicken and dumplings. And I say chicken, I meant turkey. And this is the dumplings. And uh, they've got to cook down. They're still too big. So now I'm at Gary and Stephanie's house in Nacogdocia. Nacogdocias? Nacogdoches, Texas. They decided they wanted to farm chickens here. <laughs> <laughs> we have some chickens. This is Cluck Norris. Cluck Norris. After Chuck Norris. Mm -hmm. That one is Chicken Chesney after Kenny Chesney. Um, that The red one over there is Nugget. And the other one is Hatch Tag. Hopefully they don't fly out at us. Okay, so we got two eggs. This one, this is a blue egg. It's a low cholesterol egg. And that one is a brown egg. The red ones lay the brown ones and the uh, lighter speckledy ones lay the blue ones. And these are healthier eggs because I know what these chickens ate. Mm. I fed it to them. And you don't have to refrigerate fresh eggs. You just leave them on the counter. This is just chicken scratch. This is what they love. You sprinkle it on the ground and they dig on the ground to get it. You might even get them to eat out of your hand. Make the sound in the jar. So come on chickens, put your hand in it. Mm -hmm. Put it in your hand mm -hmm. and say, here chicky, hey, chicky, 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 chicky. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. This is how you do it. <laughs> Don't throw it on them. <laughs> Look how close he is to your hand. Put your hand down no, lower. No, it ain't happening. The hand, they are not eating out of my hand. They're chicken. <laughs> They're chicken. <laughs> So Stephanie was showing me the sights. So beautiful around here. But the problem is that there's no gas stations. Yet we're in Texas. It says pull over and get gas. There's hay and chickens. That's all we see. <laughs> and cemeteries. <laughs> and now we're in a whole new county looking for gas. We're gonna run out of gas. We made it, we made it. So we decided to go see Gary at work. Gary used to be our preacher here in Miami, but nowadays he's the principal at Wells High School and Elementary School in Texas. I've never seen anything like this. Are you serious? Not like this, where you just walk in like this, no. Gorgeous. 
good. One of the things that they still do in Texas is they paddle kids when they misbehave. This is small and this is medium. The large is over in the other office. Because it's the high school office. Because it's the high school office, junior and high school. So yes, in Texas you can still paddle and by our district policy we paddle. Have you paddled any kids? Yes, <laughs> because according to the student code of conduct that's what they got. The number one phrase I get from parents when I call to tell them it's time is light them up. I think they should paddle kids in every state, especially here. So when I decided to go visit Gary and Stephanie, Stephanie asked me if I could speak at her university and I agreed to do it. And then you assign like two groups to each category because we have like six groups. So there will okay. be three stations. I taught the kids a little bit about uh, communication skills and staying motivated to stay in school. So how many of you are going to use those tools that I gave you? Yes. 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 And if there's any question, okay, any experience, <laughs> you need somebody to talk to, you need somebody to verify something with you, that's what we're all about. We're called the potentialists on whole world. So Osaro invited me to this activity, which was kind of cool because when I was in college, I was having babies. So I really didn't get to have fun in extracurricular college activities. So I decided to go to my first one. Tonight we're going to have a program uh, called Day of the Dead uh, slash Remembrance. How it's depicted, also how some cultures actually celebrate death. If somebody lives a long life, it's more of a celebration. So I learned about this Mexican thing, because yeah, I'm not Mexican. <laughs> I learned about this Mexican thing where they called it La Llorona, which is about this lady who kills her kid. And I don't know, it was played out in this really cool screen with real projection. It was really, really well put together. I just had so much fun and it was really a week where I got to bond with Gary and Stephanie again and the kids. It was a really nice trip and I can't wait to see them for the wedding. Hi guys, this is Alexa from Welcome to the Family. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and share with your friends and family.